Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Aries for August of 2018. Um, I'm outside, so it's a little bit dark, but I'm once I pull the cards, you should be able to see them. All right, so um, the ener oh, let me start out by saying that I am offering the free readings again this month. So if you would like to have a chance to win a free reading, just go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Number one and number two, leave a comment on this video or any of the other videos um, in order for you to win. Uh, these are general readings, so um, if you know, take what resonates, what leaves, leave what doesn't, and then also um, check out your moon and rising signs as well if this does not resonate or just check them out as well. All right, so the energy... Oh, the energy that I was getting when I was shuffling the cards was... What's really going on? What's really going on? Okay. And the first card that popped out is the Six of Swords here. And, you know, this card, I just read this in the Pisces reading, so you might be having dealing with the Pisces. But uh, I'm just seeing for you guys like you're hiding something. And I also, with some cards that were pulled over here, I got the feeling of, like, what are you so scared of? What are you so scared of? I'm I, I feel like you're scared for other people to see the truth. To see the truth. I feel like there's stuff that you're hiding. And, you know, I read the cards different in every reading. So this is the Six of Swords here. And you can see, like, she's walking away. She's dragging her swords. This could be your energy, this could be somebody else's, but I'm getting it's more your energy. Is that... I feel that you're so scared of something, that it's controlling how you behave, it's controlling how you think, it's controlling your interactions with other people. And... Uh, like, I'm, I'm just seeing, like, walking away in, like, a depression. Like, walking away in, um... Like, like there's nothing more I can do type of energy, all right? It's not like a giving up energy, but it's like, I can't control the situation anymore, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decide to walk away, okay? So I get that. And over here, you've got the Ace of Cups, okay, along with the Justice card. And then next to that, you've got the Six of Cups. And then you've got the Seven of Swords. So I feel like it's very contradicting energy. It's like you've got a new beginning here, but then you've got the justice. And I feel like you want justice to be served um, so that you can have a new beginning, if that makes sense. Okay? I feel like, like with this energy here, it's like I can't go on until somebody sees how wrong they were or until somebody gets the justice that is, is needed. Okay? But then you've got the Six of Cups, and it's like having enough to share. It's like giving light, right? So there's light being given, but then contradicting it is the Seven of Swords. So I feel like there's very big, big ups and downs, very big ups and downs here. Um, now, that was the beginning of August, so you might have already been through that, and especially with the energies that were happening between the Lion's Gate and the um, new moon coming in and solar eclipses, all that stuff. You could definitely have been feeling these ups and downs, like very big ups and downs. Um, but that Seven of Swords is about, you know, it's kind of like, if you could see it, it's like the crows have the sword. Some some of the crows have the swords. Let me see, let me see this. Yeah. So some of the crows have the swords. Um, you know, he's got a couple of swords. It, it's just like... Kind of like, I feel like this card in this deck is like not knowing what the hell is going on. Being so confused of what is going on right now. That's the energy that I'm feeling for the beginning of, of August. Going into the middle of August, you've got the Ten of Swords. This is a completion. This is a cycle ending. This is feeling stabbed in the back. This is like feeling like nobody's on your side. Feeling like nobody understands you. Um, right next to it, you've got the Temperance card. 
and I gotta pull the next card, is the devil. To me, I feel like it's temptation. Okay, in this deck, I feel like it's temptation. The devil card with the temperance. It's like you're trying to gain balance, but the devil's seeking in. Sneaking in, I'll say. It's like wanting to have positive thoughts, but the devil's there. Saying, uh-uh-uh, you think you want that, but you don't. You've got to believe everything that I say. Okay? It's... And then right next to it, you've got the Knight of Wands. Okay? Let me see the end here. So what I'll say is for the middle of August, which we're getting into right now, is don't let your thoughts override what you know. Weird, right? I feel like that's a weird thing to say. But don't let your, I always say, if you follow me on Facebook, and if you don't, please do. But I always say, like, your left brain will always steer you down the negative path, okay? Unless you train it not to. Or unless you train your right brain, which is your intuition, your higher self, to overpower your left brain. The devil is your left brain, okay? And I also, in the other decks, when I pull the devil, this is a narcissist card. This could be your energy, it could be theirs. But, you know, it's it's some it's something, thoughts or person that's making you second guess yourself. Is making, or you're doing this to somebody else, okay? Because especially with the energy that I'm feeling here about, like, what are you so scared of? You might be putting on a fake... A mask, you know, that's what a narcissist does, fake net a mask to hide your true self. And maybe that's why you feel like the Ten of Swords here is because you feel like nobody understands you, but nobody understands you because you're not putting out your true self, if that makes sense. I hope that resonates with some of you that really need to hear that message. In order to have this balance, you've got to be truthful because you also have a card over here that says honesty is essential. And it says, to be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Okay? So, it's essential to be honest with people. You want people to be honest with you, you've got to be honest with them. And you've got to be honest with yourself. Alright? So stop, if you are, stop trying to be someone that you're not. Be honest with people. And when you start to be honest, the people that actually accept you for who you are are going to start to surround you. Instead of being fake and expecting people to believe you when they don't and then don't understand why they don't want to be around you, okay? So that's it's just what I'm getting here for some of you. I hope that resonates, but be true to who you are. Be true to who you are is, is what the message I'm getting here. Don't be scared of who you really are. Don't be scared that people won't accept you. Don't be scared um, to really... Uh, love yourself all right because then you've got the six of wands so you got the knight of wands so towards the end of the middle of august <laughs> if that makes sense that you got the knight of wands so i feel like you will start to take action on this you will start to see that you know this devil has no no place here no place in your life and you're going to start to take action on turning that around changing the negative thoughts um being true to who you are putting boundaries up for yourself and not letting people walk all over them because then you've got the six of wands towards the end of the month, which is, you know, recognition, appreciation. Um, you know, sometimes this is a promotion. So if this resonates with you in work, you know, um, you feel stabbed in the back and you want to get some balance, it's coming your way. You're going to get recognized for what you're doing. People are going to start to like who you are when you're true and honest. People are going to like who you are, okay? You're going to get recognized for it. And then next you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So that's that energy of having the abundance and appreciating what you have around you. All right, Appreciating the people that appreciate you. The people that sur support you, surround you, protect you. Um, however, in the same row here, I do feel, so you've got to be strong towards the end of August because I do feel that you might flip-flop. Because you've got the Three of Swords again. And this might bring those negative thoughts back in. Alright? The Three of Swords. You can see the heart. The swords are in her in her heart. Just like the Ten of Swords where they're all in, in the back. Okay? In his back. So, or her back. But, you know, 
so when you're used to doing something for so long, it doesn't mean that things are going to change overnight. So even though you're taking the action with the Knight of, so Knight of Wands here, even though you're taking those steps, like, of course we regress and then we move forward. It's like, it's like two steps forward, one step back. But if you do that, you do move forward, right? You might be slowly because you got to go back and then forward, but you're going forward two, back one. All right. So just remember that towards the end of August, when you get into this mood of maybe regressing and thinking about all the negative things and going back to who, who you, that fake mask or whoever you're trying to be when you're not really that person, um, remember that cut the negative thoughts because right next to it, you've got the queen of swords. So, you know, cut it out is what I'm getting. She's got that sword, cut out those negative thoughts, be who you are, um, Train that left brain to shut up is basically what we're saying here. Over here, you've got the Eight of Swords. So there's lots of swords here. So I feel like this is all internal. You've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six swords plus the devil. So I feel like there's a lot of internal emotional healing that needs to be done all right a lot of reiki would be helpful so if you want to check out the new youtube um these divine healing you could check that out get some reiki done all right um the facebook group also has a bunch of them in there as well but get some reiki and energy healing all right because this is all internal stuff that needs to be healed um but you got the eight of swords so if you feel trapped this is what this is the card that i said what are you so scared of because I feel like you keep yourself here. You keep yourself blinded. You keep yourself protected. Um, because you also have here with this is the Two of Cups. And along with that, you've got the Four of Pentacles, which is not being able to trust. You can see she's in a tree and she's holding on to all her money. Let's see if it focus that a little bit better. Yeah, she's holding on to all her pentacles there, okay? And then you've got the Two of Cups, which is that partnership. I don't, this, with these three cards here, this combo here, I don't feel like you trust yourself. I don't feel, yeah, I don't feel like you trust yourself. And that's what that healing needs to be worked on with. All right. You do have the family card over here. And see if I can read it. It's getting too dark out here. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. So if you guys are having issues with the family, the angels are with you to help you through the situation. If this relates to family, of leaving something behind, of, of being, uh, you know, maybe your family expects you to be one person when you're really some, something different um, or somebody different. Um, you know, the values are different, whatever, whatever that is for you. Surround yourself with your family and explain and come from love and honesty. Okay, that honesty is a central card you have over there. And you also have the joy card. It's getting way too, too dark out here, so I'm going to wrap this reading up. But joy. Okay, so joy. Um, joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment which is really crazy because the other card you have right here is appreciate this moment. And this card says each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Love for yourself, love for others. This card continues to say joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. So guys, you have the potential of getting this joy in your life. You have it. You've just got to be honest with yourself, with your family, with the people in your life. Be who you are. Accept who you are for all your flaws, all your flaws, all your bruises, all the damage that's been done in your life. Whatever you've been through, accept it, love it, embrace it. Okay? Appreciate this moment. Things come for a reason. This message is here for you for a reason. Um, embrace it, love it, and deal with it. Okay? And move forward. All right, if you want an opportunity to win a free reading, please make sure you subscribe and comment on this video. And much love to all of you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.